Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> I hope I scared you. Oh, I also have a little pumpkin for you. So I'll pause for a photo op. I'm a kitty cat. Meow. <laughs> I hope you are all having a wonderful Halloween wherever you are. Today's forecast is frightfully good over here. It's been raining all day and we're going to have high winds. Now, that being said, it's terrible weather for young children that are going to go trick or treat. For But for people my age that love Halloween, it's perfect for movie marathons. Pigging out on popcorn and sweets, which I'm not going to have any sweets. I'm just going to have some popcorn or maybe some pretzels. I'm not sure. Probably popcorn. And watch some horror movies. Spend some time with my Michael Myers. As you can guess, I love Halloween. I hope I never get too old to love it. I like to do my little face up, even if I'm not going anywhere. I've loved Halloween since I was a child. I think Halloween holds a lot of significance for different people for different reasons. There's some people that celebrate it as their religion. Um, but for most people that I know, we celebrate it for candy and spooks and tricks and treats. I myself have always been obsessed with being scared since I was a kid. Now, don't get me wrong. Scary movies used to scare the bejeebus out of me. And particularly, it was always Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th movies. I think it's because I spent a lot of time going to summer camp as a kid. I would be terrified when I would have to watch those movies. And my stepfather, who was also my abuser, would always make me watch him. And I always thought, looking back, how ironic that my terrifier would make me watch something that was terrifying. And I can remember my mother always telling me, he's just a man, he's just an actor in a mask. He's only playing it a part. So she would give me tips on how to watch it during the day and know that it was just a movie set, that there were real people underneath the costumes. They weren't really being killed. And I can remember sitting on the floor with my little brother watching the scary movie. And she would always tell me, especially in that movie, wait for that cued music. When you heard that music and that kick, 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 <sighs> that you would know it would be time for a kill. So that would be a good opportunity to like close your eyes and give you a heads up that something bad was going to happen. So I would sit there and I would rock back and forth and I'd say, He's only an actor. He's only an actor. He's only an actor. And eventually my fear gave way. And now I just adore those movies. It's my very favorite genre of films. And I always wonder, you know, Mike always says, it's so strange to me. You're like one of the only chicks I know that isn't into chick flicks. I love to laugh, but I'm not a comedy fan. Only because I like pure comedy. Um, I don't like a lot of the what passes for comedy, but I don't want to tread on to another subject. I want to stick with Halloween theme today. Um, but I always often wonder why is it that I love horror so much? And I think it's because it's fear that adrenaline rush you get. Like when you're a kid and you go on, um, a roller coaster, or if you're waiting in line to go on a really scary ride or get in line to go on a haunted house or go to your first concert with your friends, it's that adrenaline rush you get, that anticipation. And it's also fear you can control because there was so much fear in my life I had no control over. But fear in small doses, like in a two-hour movie or something, you know those are man-made fears. And little tricks like the music, even though they get you sometimes, they played the music, but nothing really happened. And then when you would sort of like <sighs> exhale, then they would, boom, jump out and get you, you know. Um, it was contained. It was man-made. It was scripted. 
It was something you didn't really have to think about because it wasn't real. And unlike real pain in your life and fear in your life, it's meant to be entertainment. I also think growing up, I had a lot of gay friends. Halloween's a really joyous time in a gay community. Sometimes it's the first time, not that every gay person tries drag, but a lot of times it's the first time people experiment with dressing in drag. Maybe feeling comfortable in experimenting with playing with gender roles. Um, I myself always feeling like an outcast. It's the one time of the year where we're celebrated to be odd, to be different. It's okay to stand out. And that always struck a chord with me too. I always felt like, oh, okay. The norms have come to my side of the tracks where I feel comfortable. I should let you know, I'm sorry if I sound a little froggy. I went with my best friend to celebrate her birthday yesterday and we went to the casino and we were there very late and um, we had a really good time. No, I'm not a millionaire. I still have to go to my day job. Um, but there was um, a lot of smoke in there. And a confession I have to make is I am a smoker. And I think I smoked a little more than I should. And that between my allergies and just really being dehydrated and drawn out lately with medications and that, I think I'm just really just parched. I've drank so much water today. I swear I can feel my gel, my belly jiggling, but I just feel parched. And I think it's a change in the weather too. So if my voice is um, distracting, I am sorry about that. A funny note, side note though, we go into the casino and my girlfriend and I are the same age for 18 days right now. I'm, eight, I'm just about a year older than her. So we go in and there's a security guard and we both walk in and he says hi to both of us. And he stops me and he asks me what my date of birth is. And I tell him and he says, oh, honey, you don't look like you're over 30. And I was like, wow, what a compliment. So my girlfriend stops me and she says, what did he say to you? And I told her and she's like, well, what does that say about me? And I said, don't worry. He's probably just drunk. <laughs> Another creepy side note I had, I have to share while we're in the Halloween theme. I'm at the grocery store a few days ago and my girlfriend had to drop me off so I could go cash my paycheck because my payroll didn't work through. So we had to be cut paper checks and I work late. So the banks are closed. So I get in line and I notice this man behind me and he's kind of looking at me 